Okay, so you don't look too happy. We've been looking for cheesesteaks and we just can't seem to find one anywhere on this uh, 4th of July weekend. Seems like everybody's closed from the 3rd until the 11th, which is like when you're here, which is really unfortunate. But I think we found a good uh, plan C today. Any ideas? What might that be? Uh, pizzeria Bella Vista. So, in lieu of cheesesteaks, we're going all pizza. Are cheesesteaks even Italian? Italian American, right? Yeah, it's all still in the same genre. Cheesesteaks are South Philly. Yeah, it's, well, it's South Philly's pretty Italian. Italian. The history, yeah. I like good stuff. Okay. Yeah, but well. yeah, us guineas, we like that stuff. Anyway, please join us. We're going to try out what is written up as one of the best pizzas in the Hampton Roads area in Yelp. Uh, it's kind of a blind shot. We're just going to go in and give it a shot and see what see what we think, see what's up, bring you some uh, what is called the best pizza in uh, Hampton Roads. And we are in Chesapeake. To be honest, I'm not so helpful because living here like before. Always used to have to drive to Norfolk to go to Kogan's. Exactly. So we'll see. We're going to give this one a shot. It's supposed to be one of the best. Uh, wish us luck. Please join us and please like and subscribe. Please. Peace. I'm here with Paula Signorelli. Paula Signorelli, the owner, uh, with your husband. Yes, my husband Michael. And is black, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, you were telling me this great story about uh, how you started here, and, like how you, you learned the art of pizza. Okay. So yeah. So um, my husband and I. Uh, my husband was um, at the military. We were stationed over over in Naples for three years, and then in La Madalena for almost three years. And uh, while we were over there, we lived on the economy and we had great um, landlords who would take us and teach us how to cook and make pizza and make pasta and we just had a great time over there and we were stationed here and we made this our home and when we retired we had a, a mobile um, company so we'd go to three companies, uh, private events, private parties and we do all kind of catering. So almost then, a street truck truck. Yeah, absolutely and then we just opened this and we've been here almost seven years now. The oven was made in Quarto, which is a little town outside of Naples. Actually happened to be one of the towns that we lived in. At the time, we didn't know that that's where they manufactured the ovens, but it was really cool. So we ordered it, um, they built it there, they shipped it here, and uh, it's been holding up ever since. We have a little bit of, you know, a little wear and tear there, but- well, that's we, it's got character. Yeah, character, and yeah, we can be more happy with it. That's great. Well, I've seen, like I said, I've seen these before in there. I mean, you need an oven like this to make it a hot Yes, style. yes. Uh, yeah, the big, I mean, some people use propane. So this is all wood. We use um, a hard oak wood, and it performs really well. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank and you. thank you very much for thank sharing you. with us. Thank you. It was nice okay. to meet you. So, right there, the pasta right. pomodoro. Yep, that's our one pasta area. I'll go for that one. All right, pasta for you. Okay. I'd like to try. But could you tell us about the pizza a little bit? So all of our pizza is 12 inches. It's Neapolitan style. So they're all made to order. Okay. Our oven is close to 1,000 degrees, so they cook in like 90 seconds. I saw the oven. That's a special yes. oven. I've seen those before. Yes, so our dough is super light. Um, when it comes out, it's going to have a little bit of charring on the outside. Mm -hmm. That's just the nature of the it's dough. typical Neapolitan. Yes. You it's probably have to explain that to a lot of people. Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Because it is very, very good. Yeah. And I, of course, went for the pizza. I had to go for the Napolitano style. Uh, as I've said many times before, I'm more of a Philly, New York slice kind of guy. Um, this is very, very typical. I mean, this is exactly what you expect from the Napolitano. Pizza in Italy is a knife and fork experience. So for the first... So I can do the fries, we also have the muffins, we also 
very nice, very nice, tender, tender dough. Uh, the flavors of the sauces taste really authentic. As you heard, they spent a good amount of time in Italy, and uh, I think they learned the lessons of how to make a really good pizza. You really have to like this style, but it still is a really excellent pizza, even if it isn't your first choice. So Sam, could you tell us like what your impressions and what you ordered? I've got the pasta pomodoro, and it looks very similar to pasta dishes I've gotten in Italy before, so okay. very, very authentic so far. Um, Okay, so we were just having this conversation a little bit about the pizza, how good it is, uh, the Palatino style, very authentic. Uh, the, pe your, the pasta you had was... Yeah, very authentic for Italy. Yep. Yeah, I mean it's coming like straight from the tomatoes. Like these are the real tomatoes, not a, that wasn't even canned. They get it. Yeah, yeah, real tomatoes. It's yeah. real tomatoes in the sauce, so real tomato sauce. But what are you saying about the pie itself? It's, it's like a really good, would be a great business plan because of the, the fast turnover. Because it only takes, I think, 90 seconds to, to cook the pizza. But I don't know if um, this pizza will ever be popular in a widespread fashion in this country. It's very, very authentic. But I mean, we've kind of turned it into our own thing, kind of like General Tso's chicken. Different culture, different pizza culture. So yeah, very but good. Very authentic here in Chesapeake, Bella Pizza. They're killing it. I think it's a really good, absolutely really good product. Yeah. And we just get American get the home from it. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we tried it. What do you think? I liked it. I'm coming back for sure. This is really authentic. Uh, as you saw, like they went to Italy, they were stationed in Italy, and they learned how to cook Italian, and it was really authentic. Uh, this is really, like, they're lighting it up here. I think anybody that's in the Chesapeake area and wants a really good pizza, different style, Napolitano, it's not your Domino's. This is a real solid, authentic, and, and the pasta as well. Be careful which shirt you wear in here. You don't want to see any Juve, Inter Milan, or AC Milan. It's all Napoli. It's all Napoli. <laughs> Be careful. Until the next time, peace, thanks for joining us, and 